Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great Class A motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Who says you have to spend a fortune to get a nice, low mileage Class A motorhome with two slides? Today we're going to review a 2003 National Seabreeze LX 8341. So hang tight, I'm going to pop a drone up, we'll do a fly around, and I'll be right back from the outside. everybody this is a good looking motorhome to be a 18 year old 2003 model but again guys we are looking at a 2003 national seabreeze lx one of my personal favorite brands and a class a gas of this era um the national the national rv was a brand that was awarded by, that was the fourth largest rv manufacturer in the world in its prime time which would have been about the time this was built uh, this particular one is a 8341. It's 34 feet, 11 inches. Just has 30,000 miles. And guys, this was a new RV trade-in I bought from the dealer who sold the new one. Bought it directly from them, which is getting harder to do right now with the inventory shortage. A lot of new dealers are starting to stock a few used ones when they trade for them just to have something on the lot since new ones are so hard to get. But buddy of mine threw me a bone sold this one to me it's a nice one we drove it up about 500 some odd miles it did great and uh i've got it for an affordable price guys it's a double slide two slides 26 9 with 30,000. and then this is the way i look at it too guys if you look over here right beside it i've got this flagstaff v light uh travel trailer with two slides and in flagstaff's a, a decent brand but it's not like a high high quality brand and it's 20 grand. All right, for a little bit more, you can have something like this with its own motor. You don't have to have a truck. You have a generator, so you can use it anywhere, and fiberglass roof, and, and so much more. So guys, this is a, uh, to me, a whole lot smarter buy, even though it's several years older, but it's in phenomenal condition to be 18 years old. And I can sum up National RV with what they're best known for in one word, Duraframe. Guys, National RV, their claim to fame that they did back then, nobody does today, is I know, of course, the chassis is all steel, but they use a all steel frame construction. In other words, from the chassis up, it's all steel, just like a born free. Um, it's got steel roof rafters, steel wall supports, front and back steel frame, not steel and aluminum like most other RV manufacturers use. Now it makes it a little bit heavier, makes it cost more to build, but you get a superior, a superior, a stronger RV that is a, um, something that sways less on the road. And yes, we are going to drive it here in a little bit and just got a better ride and drive to it. Less squeaks and rattles, if that makes sense. Got a 5500 Onan, a gasoline generator running right now. It's got the course built on the Ford chassis with a V10, 6.8 V10, 310 horsepower, 420 pound-feet of torque. Hydraulic leveling jacks. And this was back when they actually put hydraulic slide outs on um, gas motorhomes. I mean, they still do today, but seems like about 75% of them you look at are electric, and the hydraulic is a whole lot more dependable. Costs a lot more, too. That's why the manufacturers are going all electric now on the slide outs, cut down the cost. But uh, windshields look good and used to belong to ministry, as you saw from the back. It's got a couple of cracks right here on the passenger side. In the corners, it's barely noticeable. I'm not planning on fixing it because windshields are very hard to get right now. Um, you know, if that's something you want to fix later on, 
I asked the, my buddy I got this from at the other dealer. He said the people bought this thing several, seven or eight years ago, and those cracks were on the windshield then. And it never did bother them, never was worth changing out, because about $1,200 to change that. So I'm gonna leave it alone, 26.9. It's gonna be sold with those cracks. It doesn't interfere with the driver's view whatsoever. Got a nice patio awning. Tires look great. So we just drove it several hundred miles back. Power steps, and it's got, a, like I said, a fiberglass roof, which is something else that's getting harder and harder to find. So what I'm gonna do, folks, I'm gonna pause the video for a minute. We're gonna pop a drone up again and show you a detailed roof shot. And then I will be right back from the inside of this beautiful Seabreeze RV. everybody that was a good looking roof to be a 2003 model i mean it needs to be washed uh, especially on the slide toppers but wow just came in so we haven't even had a chance to wash it you're pretty much looking at it how it came in and it's all original you know it doesn't look like it's been messed with besides the floor um somebody has taken the carpet out of the main living area and put a vinyl floor in which most people do that anyway um but the original carpet that's left is actually in very, very good shape. The original upholsteries looks great. Let's look here in the front cab. Now, is this motor home perfect? Of course not, it's 18 years old. You've got a little bit of wrinkling underneath this window right here on the passenger seat. It's not recent, because uh, we had some torrential downpour of rain yesterday and it was completely dry in here. But it does have that from an old leak, probably been fixed for many, many years. Got the power gear, hydraulic jacks, 30,725 miles on it. Ford V10, got a 5,000 pound tow capacity. No check engine lights, no ABS lights, no warning lights, motor's running right now. Uh, seats look great. No smoke or pet odors in here. Uh, TV's been updated to flat screen. Got a little Vizio up there instead of the old CRT TV, which is what it originally would have came with. Got the padded roof or the carpeted roof um, headliner. So if you ever have a leak, you'll see it hanging down. Very, very obvious if it had one. And I don't see any leaks in the roof. And it's fiberglass roof, so I'm not as concerned about leaks on one of these older units with a fiberglass roof as I would be with a uh, rubber roof. Well, let's be honest with you. I mean, you can maintain the rubber roofs from back then and they'll last a long time, but most people don't maintain them that way. And you know, those, those first generation rubber roofs weren't exactly the most dependable thing in the world. They've come a long way in the last few years on that. Uh, swivel chair, got a little pop-up table right there and you can actually swivel the passenger seat around and have extra seating for two people. Corian countertop, solid maple cabinets. Again, original upholstery, everything looks great. No odors, no pad odors, no smoke odors. Got a, they call that a wonder bed. It's a 68 inch wide, makes a bed, and it still has the drawers underneath it too. So you can have extra storage, best of both worlds. Table and chairs, which is what I like if you're a bigger person like me because you're not stuck in a fixed position when you're trying to eat or work. Uh, it's got one blind back there I gotta have fixed which we do all that when we do our standard checkout. And just a little attention to details. You can see, like the, of course they've updated a lot of the lighting to LED, not all of it, but a lot of it. Uh, bulbs have been changed to LED bulbs. Got the nice light fixtures, which I know may look a little outdated now in 2020, but you know, back then, this was a high-end coach. I mean, it was comparable to a Fleetwood Pacero, but because of that Duraframe, Cost an extra 15, 20, 25 grand over a comparable Fleetwood or, or many of the other brands that were available back in 2003. 
but you get what you paid for. I mean, this is a very, I mean, this is almost like a diesel pusher quality as far as the interior in a class A gas. And that was a hard thing to find. Looking through it, guys, no soft spots in the floor, nothing like that. You know, kitchen area, no stress cracks on the Corian countertops, which means you've got a good riding coach. And that's, again, thanks to that Duraframe. When you drive a Duraframe and you drive, a, say, a, another comparable unit from 2003, you can tell the difference right away in how it rides and drives. Less squeaks, rattles, less sway, less vibrations. A more sturdy built frame. Um, it does not have an oven, so to speak, but it does have a convection oven. So this is an electric oven, it just doesn't have your traditional propane oven. But you do have extra drawers and stuff like that for storage in its place. Got an eight cubic foot Dometic RV refrigerator freezer. It's actually working right now. Um, had it on for a little while and it's already starting to ice over in the freezer and refrigerator. Light bulbs burn out, but I can assure you it's getting cold. And you can see up here, it's on automatic, which right now we got the generator running. So it is on AC power. Going to the back here, right here on one side, here is your, you've got two roof airs on this one. You've got a furnace. Um, I've got the furnace on right now. Slide out control right here. This controls both slide outs. And I'll show you how to do that here uh, when we bring the rooms in for a video clip there. Walk through bathroom. And again, guys, quality, quality, quality. It's glass around the shower. Full fiberglass surround. Floor looks great. You've got a private toilet um, water closet. Look in here. They even put the, the wallpaper on the inside of the door. So you're just leaving it a blank piece of wood. And that's a solid... That's no hollow door. That's a, if you took that off, you would have to have some help carrying it out, that door. And you can see that it's not been exposed to extreme weather because it's got the, uh, the border around the wall. And a little trick that I do, that I use to see if one's been exposed to extreme heat, is if it has the glue that, that holds this border to the wall, will start letting loose and it will start curling up around the edges. So when one's been exposed to extreme heat, you're gonna see that wallpaper border curling up and it doesn't show that. So very, very good sign that this thing's not been used in extreme weather. And a huge vanity area right here, guys. Lots of cabinets, lots of space, big medicine cabinets. Excuse the ugly guy in the mirror. Um, nice, like I said, nice stand-up shower. It's got a tub for small kids if you need it. You can look around the skylight, no signs of leak damage, no stains, nothing like that. You got a solid door to going into the bedroom for privacy. Back bedroom, you got a 60 by 80 house size Queen Island bed. It's still got the original bed cover on it. That's, that's pretty rare. Night stands on each side. Big closet in the, right in the front of the bed and lots of drawers and storage space space <laughs> underneath. So lots of storage down here. And you've got a place for a TV in the corner um, if you wanted to put one in there. Or we can for a couple hundred bucks if you want us to. I like the little seashell. All the Tropica, or all the uh, national RVs use nautical themes beach, uh, tropical, sea breeze. That was kind of their thing. Uh, you can see the seashells covers on the lights. That's factory. And that's why they have the light colors in here too. And correction, this thing does have two airs and two furnaces. And it's got a 400 watt inverter, which I know is not huge, but that's what they put in back in 2003. So But guys, you know, it is what it is. I know this may be older or it may be not the style that a lot of you are looking for, but for those of you who are on a budget, 
or didn't think a nice double slide motor home was in your price range with low miles here you go guys and of course we are going to drive it I am going to bring the rooms in here in a minute after I go over everything and um, show you what it looks like with the slide out rooms in and then we'll take it down the road But guys, this unit is 26.9, haggle-free, 100%, absolutely firm. Now, it's too old to qualify for a warranty, so it doesn't come with a warranty. Um, 2006, and after the first year, it'd be 2007s and up, only qualify, are the only ones that qualify for a warranty. So, But it's still going to go through the same four-page inspection process that we put all the RVs through, whether you get a warrant, whether it has a war qualifies for a warranty or not. I also forgot to mention uh, Dash Air. Even though right now, not that big a deal, dash air is ice cold. Now, I've got a 2008 motorhome. It doesn't work. The dash air doesn't work. I, of course, I don't plan on fixing that, but this 03 works. That means somebody has maintained it because they've had to repair that air after 18 years for it to work. So, been taken care of. It's in very nice condition for the year model. Priced right. I mean, guys, this is basically used travel trailer price, or just a little over it. And this is a high-quality motorhome. This isn't just like a, a Four Winds Hurricane or something like that. That's just kind of an entry-level model. This is this is very, very high-quality RV. Not going to last long. If this thing's here a week from now, I'll be very, very surprised. If it's even here a few days from now, I'll be surprised. Um... 26.9 is a price, 100% haggle free. You do get the inspection process that's done after purchase. Look in the video description below and um, you can look up and see, there'll be a link to my four page inspection process. You can see everything that we're gonna go over. Um, click on that link, it'll show you. And if you don't trust links, you can just go to my website, parkwayrvcenter.com. Click on any listing that's um, that has that and it'll show you everything that we inspect for the price you pay and repair if needed. Um, I don't think this is gonna be a big deal. Generators running, furnace works, slide outs work, drove several hundred miles, refrigerator's cold. I mean, I'm sure, I mean, we got a lot more stuff than that to check, but I don't think uh, this thing's gonna be a, a huge issue to check out because it's been so well taken care of. And, it, and, it go, and I've said this in other videos too, guys. You know, you buy one that's been treated rough, you're always going to be working on it. Something's always going to be breaking. Something's not going to be working. And I know that. You should know that. But here's the thing. You know, I have such a thorough inspection process, guys. It's four pages long. No other dealer does that on used RVs, period. I've uh, been told multiple times that there's no way we can do that, but we do it every day we've been doing it that way for 52 years but that's why our prices are haggle free because we don't know what we're going to spend when we check it out we could spend a few hundred dollars we could spend 10 10 12 thousand dollars hopefully it's a earlier number but you never know and and but the reason why we check so many different things when other dealers don't is because we try to buy the nicer rvs to begin with because in our many decades of experience the nicer an rv has been treated more than likely, everything's going to work on it, or most everything's going to work on it. So, um, that's our logic behind having such a large checklist. And unlike other RV dealers, too, we're not afraid to spend money on these things to make them pass that inspection list. I mean, <laughs> y'all y'all would actually, y'all would probably freak out to see how much a year we spend on parts. I mean, it's astronomical. <laughs> I mean, I'm talking hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars in parts that we have to spend um, just to, so we do what we say we're going to do. But that's, that's, that's us, guys. That's why people come from all over the country to buy from us every single week. That's why here it is a week before Christmas, and we've already sold 14 units this week. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's just that's what we do. Uh, got over a hundred RVs in stock All mostly used. I've got a couple of new ones, but all my motorhomes are used guys I've got a couple of brands of travel trailers. I carry new but 
as you know it takes six to eight months to get an order of new ones in if even that so um, this is 26.9 haggle free firm you get the inspection you get a full orientation after it's been through service and cleanup which is done after purchase if you don't know the current lead time ask your salesperson very limited financings available banks have really tightened up on financing on older rvs but i still have a couple of lenders left that will finance an 03 uh with approved credit down payment but now i probably can't get you 12 15 year terms but at 26 9 you probably don't need that longer terms and if it's something you think you're interested in financing give us a call 706-965-7929 we can go over finance options, um, instruct you how to do a credit app. We actually have an online credit app that's secure that can go ahead and start the process of trying to get you approved. And we'll do everything we can, too, to get you approved, uh, you know, well, legally. But the only thing we ask is that you be 100% truthful on the credit application. And if you are self-employed, you will have to have two years of complete tax returns and your income that you state on your credit app must match line 38 on your tax return so what you you know if you pay your you file your taxes like you're supposed to um you got nothing to worry about but anyway um again that's the bank not us financing available with approved credit and down payment deliveries available if you're interested in a quote on that give us a call we will be shut down a little bit next week for Christmas, guys. We are shut down uh, 24th through the 28th, four days. We'll be shut down the Friday, yeah, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then we'll open back up Monday. Then we'll shut down a couple of days for New Year's at the end of the week as well. So if you are planning to come visit us, please call ahead and uh, make sure we're going to be open the day you want to come out. And uh, guys, you know, I thank you again for watching. 20, I've got 26 and a half thousand subscribers. Would love to count you among them. And guys, I don't monetize my channel. You know, I because I know you don't want to watch four or five commercials uh, interrupting my videos. Um, that drives me crazy. I'm sure it does you. And I think it's tacky to some of these guys that review RVs try to pick up a few extra bucks a month by monetizing their channel and making everybody watch commercials. That's tacky to have an advertisement advertisement and uh, can backfire sometimes too so but anyway guys uh what i'm gonna do of course this unit's again 26.9 haggle free firm doesn't matter how you pay for it i do take trade-ins within reason you know i'm not gonna take something that's on its last leg and roof falling out of it and ready for the salvage yard or nothing like that i don't i quit trade for that stuff a long time ago but but i do take rvs in on trade i'll take cars trucks keep in mind though if you've got a car or truck i'm not a car dealer i don't have a clue what it's worth i actually have car dealers that appraise my trade-ins and i allow you whatever they pay me for it so if you do have a vehicle keep in mind it will be on more on the wholesale side it's what you'll get on trade if you've got a car or truck suv something like that because i'm not interested in retailing it on my lot i just turn around and sell it to the car dealer that put the highest figure on it and um and whatever that figure is is what i allow you on trade so don't you know it may take me a day or so to get a value on your vehicle please keep that in mind but anyway guys thank you for watching my video i'm gonna do like i always do i'm gonna bring the rooms in do a quick walk through showing you what it looks like from your passenger's perspective when you're driving down the road and then i'm gonna put my chest strap on we're gonna take it down the road for a test drive so guys again any questions if you want to come look please call before coming to look make sure it's available 706-965-7929 again guys 26.9 but unlike other rv dealerships we have no extra fees no dock fees no prep fees no um processing fees happy camper fees you know those fees can add thousands and thousands of dollars to an advertised price and that's how a lot of these dealers make their money among other things that we don't do 
And uh, if you do finance through us and we get you approved, you pay whatever the interest rate is the bank approves you for. Other dealers mark that interest rate up percent or two, which can cost you a lot of money over the life of an RV loan. It's a, our financing to us is a courtesy for our customers, not as a way to make money. You know, we're old school, we make our money up front and everything else we do, guys, is just whatever it costs us. So if you got any questions, give us a call. 706-965-7929 email sales at parkwayrvcenter.com check out my website guys just about everything I got on the lots on our website parkwayrvcenter.com and there'll be a link in the video description to that below if you don't want to type it in but thank you again for watching and uh, hang tight and I'll be back with the rooms in alright everybody I got the rooms in still got pretty good access to everything um, with the rooms in the, the slide out procedure, if anybody's interested, is a, um, of course you can walk straight. I'm, I'm six foot four, 300 pounds. I don't even have to turn sideways. You go over here to your slide out control. The motor home can be running. Uh, if you just flip this, the key over to whatever slide you want to bring in the main or the bedroom and just push the button till it comes in, switch it over to the other one, same process. And the motor home can be running. So if you do have kids in your RV, take that key out uh, when you're driving down the road so they don't accidentally try to put the slide out while you're driving down the interstate. Um, but what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to get strapped up and we're going to take this thing for a test drive. And I will see you in just a minute. All right, everybody, now we're going to test drive this 2003 Seabreeze LX and um, uh, 30,725 miles. Be, be a few more by the time we get back. And like I said, it is on the Duraframe chassis, so it, it's going to have a pretty good ride and drive to it. Now, this thing, is this thing going to be a big powerhouse? No, because of the, uh, the extra weight of the all-steel frame but heavier the heavier vehicle the better is going to ride so um let's see if we can get out kind of a late afternoon it's like almost four o'clock so we may have a little bit of traffic but that's about the quickest i've ever pulled out of that side road there and we're going to take it up this hill right here and i hope you can see everything okay uh, i've got my uh gopro chest mount on Since it's illegal to hold a camera and drive in Georgia with your hands, but you don't really need to anyway. Let's get on it just a little bit. Um, so far, so good. Like I said, it's a, a 35 foot Class A gas with all steel frame, so I know it's not going to hit this hill from 0 to 60 going up this hill but I mean we're at 45 transmission feels good it's not pulling to the left or right and of course we're going to take it down the interstate too good smooth transmission too by the way good visibility through the windshields Got the four speed with overdrive. I mean, we're running 50 right now. And of course, we'll take it down the uh, interstate, try the cruise control out. We'll see what she does. I do like these newer style mirrors on this thing. Uh, they're more eye level with the driver. Um, and there are three mirror system so you got a very minimum very minimum uh blind spot compared to most rvs let's get on it a little bit here 50 55 
and 60 right here so yeah i mean that's you can't really expect a class a this size to do any better than that and we're hitting 65 i'm gonna hit the cruise control now cruise control works i'm set at about 67 quiet you don't hear any squeaks or rattles back there compared to most class a gas i like that which i know you probably couldn't hear it on this camera anyway but I'm just telling you my observations from driving it. Yeah, guys, I could drive this all day. I mean, we, we can keep on heading south, go to the beach if y'all want to. <laughs> 45 degrees outside. That doesn't sound like a bad plan, but uh, I don't think they would uh, they'd kind of frown on that a little bit at work. And like I said, we're just taking it easy in the right lane, just like you should when you're driving a motorhome. And um, we'll get off the interstate here. We'll check the brakes. Go ahead and cut the cruise off. I don't feel any vibrations in the steering wheel. I'm sure, I think you can still see the steering wheel. Um, no vibrations. So that means rotors you got plenty of brake pedal i mean guys for 26.9 i have driven a whole whole lot worse for this price uh this is pretty nice be honest with you this thing right here drives better than some other motorhomes i've driven that were 20 25 grand higher um even hitting that bump right there it doesn't rattle that's what gets me. That's why I love these Dura frames. But anyway, guys, 26.9 while it lasts. If it's something you think you're interested in, give us a call. 706-965-7929. And, um, you know, got any comments, feel free to leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, you know, the more interaction you have on my videos, the more YouTube shares it and puts it on people's walls. Feel free to share it to social media. Um, you got sites you're on. I know there's a lot of Facebook groups, things like that for Class A's. And feel free to put this on there. Um, let me know what you think. If it's something you think you're interested in buying, give us a call. Uh, if, if you're not, but you're in the market for a used RV, like I said, I've got over 100 in stock. Um, a lot of Class A motorhomes, gas and diesel, got some really good prices considering the current market. And um, try to carry something for everybody's budget. But thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. And uh, look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.